This is the first dual screened or double screened gaming laptop that we've seen on the market. We've seen other devices out there like the ZenBook Pros and MacBook Pros that sometimes have double screens, but this is the first one that was geared specifically for gaming. This is the HP Omen X 2S, and it has a little six inch screen right above the keyboard. They've added some functionality to the screen designed specifically for gaming, we'll get into that later, uh, but it's also one of the first laptops out there that ran liquid metal instead of regular thermal paste on the heatsink. Now this device is relatively thin. It's 20 millimeters at the thinnest, and I think 21 at the thickest. It is a very thin device, but they've packed this thing with some very powerful hardware. It's running the RTX 2080 Max-Q, as well as a ninth gen Intel CPU. This thing can play games, but I'm gonna focus this video on the two main features that I'm most interested in. First, the functionality of that little screen, like is that thing a gimmick or is it actually useful, as well as the thermal performance of this device given the liquid metal that it's running. So the secondary screen is a six inch IPS panel. It's positioned right above the keyboard and it's in a better position up here instead of the lowered position like we've seen on some of the older ZenBook Pros. In terms of its functionality, there's a lot of stuff that HP puts on their website to showcase how people could use this. Personally, I found it limited as to what I would actually want to do with it. For one, the screen is not super big, right? You do have a relatively small area to work with, but you can put stuff like Spotify or a secondary website or some kind of reference material down there, that works. You also have the option of running like a really small game on there. So you can get stuff like Dota Underlords, keep it running on there, your graphics card can handle it, and you can leave your main screen for your work or whatever else you're doing. There is one feature on the screen that I'd never seen on any other kind of dual screen laptop before, and I think it's because this is a gaming laptop, they've implemented this feature. So it allows you to take a portion of the main screen zoom it up and put it into the mini display. So as an example, you can take the map of your main display, put it down there. You can put your cooldown indicator so it's more visually obvious. You can even put your targeting reticle and make it this zoomed up version of whatever you're looking at on the main screen down there. So it's slightly easier to snipe in certain games. The idea of it is cool. Like when you first see it for the first time, it's like, hey, that is very different. It's almost cheating. But the actual benefits of this are debatable. I found that when I brought the mini map from games onto this screen, it looked cool, right, to have this larger version of the minimap to refer to, but now your eye is looking further away than it normally does to access that information. And the same thing applies for cooldown management and sniping, because now you're looking at the bottom screen to snipe and then back up to the main screen to kind of monitor what you're doing again. It's a little disorienting to be looking up and then down and then back up to do something that could have been done just by looking straight at the screen the whole time. The thing that I would say that kind of ruins this secondary zoom feature for me is that when game developers make their games and they develop their UIs for regular screens, they've built the UI and they've positioned stuff around the screen in a very optimal way for the player to just have one screen. And no matter what element of the UI I moved into that bottom screen, it never felt overly useful. You do have the option of running Discord or Twitch or running some secondary reference material of your game in that bottom screen, and in those circumstances it is more useful, but for using the actual gameplay UI and putting it down there, I just found it a little lackluster. Okay, let's talk about performance. This device uses liquid metal instead of regular thermal paste on the heatsink, and in doing so, I think they've achieved a very thin machine. This is 20 millimeters thick, and I really think that's the main reason why they chose the liquid metal instead of the regular paste, because the thermal performance of this device is not all that great. If they had made this device thicker, we probably would see better temperatures, but because the device is thin and because it's running that secondary screen on the top, it depends on this bottom area to cool the system properly. So they've added a pretty big grill here. It's quite open, but it's not enough. I really would have liked to see lower temperatures. It doesn't throttle when you're playing lighter games, but it does throttle when you're benchmarking or you're playing heavier titles. Now the product that they're using is this stuff. It's Conductonaut from Thermal Grizzly. I've used it before, it's liquid metal. And the company, Thermal Grizzly, makes some really good thermal interface materials. I think these two products, like Cryonaut and Conductonaut, are some of the best stuff you can get, but I'm surprised at how warm the temperatures are. Like Conductonaut, the liquid metal stuff that they're using in here, can get some really good temperatures, but the Omen is kind of mediocre on thermals. Uh, okay, let's get back to the rest of the device. The keyboard has been shifted down because of this secondary screen, and it's actually a pretty good keyboard. I like how it feels, and the keys are individually lit, but I don't love the positioning. They include 
a wrist rest that you can butt up to the bottom of it and it makes it a more comfortable typing experience, but it isn't necessary. I didn't find it uncomfortable to type without the wrist rest. The trackpad's also on the right. It uses Windows Precision Drivers and it also has these external buttons. So here's the thing. At this point in the review, I've talked about the two kind of main features of this laptop, the thermal performance in light of the liquid metal, as well as the secondary screen. Both of those features are what HP used to differentiate this product from basically everything else out there. And I think it was a good attempt on their part in terms of what they were trying to do. They were trying to achieve something that no one else is doing on the market right now. And in that regard, it's commendable because they're trying to make something that is new, that is innovative. The problem is that these features don't make it a better product to me. It makes it a different product, like this is distinctly different from basically everyone else out there making gaming laptops, but it doesn't make it better. And that's where I'm a little bit disappointed. So when they first announced this thing, when they announced the secondary screen and they announced that they were running liquid metal in this thing, I was very excited because I knew the potential of liquid metal and I've seen what a secondary screen can do if it's implemented properly. Maybe I've been spoiled by a wide double screen from ASUS and maybe have been spoiled by devices that have significantly better temperatures running liquid metal, but this device feels like a bit of a miss. It's not to say that it's a bad laptop, but considering what this thing costs and what it had the potential to do because of all its cool features, I feel like they didn't live up to the HP Omen name. See, in 2019, there are so many good thin and light gaming laptops. Like they're super competitive with one another in terms of pricing, in terms of performance. And this device has the same thing as everybody else. It's running the same 144 Hertz panel. It's running the same kind of port configuration and the performance is pretty good, but the features that distinguish this thing from the rest, just, they don't feel like they're worth it. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.